Hi guys, this is Melissa. <clears throat> Got my spaghetti sauce put on yesterday. I sauteed my Italian sausage with onion and garlic. And today I've added um, some ragu, I'm um, sorry, it was prego um, traditional spaghetti sauce. Um, added a can of diced tomatoes, um, some tomato paste, a good bit of sugar, because I like sugar in it. And um, that's it. I'm going to let it simmer and um, cook until I fix the spaghetti. And then we'll top it with the crushed red pepper flakes and Kraft Parmesan cheese. And that will be for dinner tonight. I'm sorry the lighting is really bad in here. But you can see it. So it'll simmer. I like it to simmer for quite a while before putting it on the spaghetti. So um, I'll try to show a clip of it when it's done. Y'all yeah, like and subscribe and have a good day. Hi guys, this is Melissa. This is just the completed spaghetti. Um, yes, I like a little Parmesan with my um, spaghetti, so it's mainly topped with that. I used those little kind of prep bows. This one's a little bit bigger, but I'm not going to be able to eat nearly half of it, but my mind still focuses after the surgery on being able to eat more than I can. So, I have to try to set my mind, get my mind readjusted where I can't eat as much as I thought I could. But, um, it's got Parmesan cheese and red pepper flakes. And again, I sauteed the, um, sausage with onion, diced onion and, um, minced garlic. And then I simmered the sauce. I used, um, the Prego traditional because that's what they have it. Sam's so I like the chunky but they don't have that at Sam's so I added um, diced tomatoes tomato paste um, what else did I add I think that's did I say the mushrooms the mushrooms and um, quite a bit of sugar I always wondered why the spaghetti sauce when I was growing up always tasted sweet and I always tried to buy the one my mom made and it never tasted sweet like the one that we had growing up and as of course as I got older I realized she had put sugar in it so we kind of like our spaghetti sauce a little on the sweet side because of the acidity of the tomatoes so it's very good so you ought to give it a try a very good spaghetti recipe I'm going to try to make um I don't know if you watch my bipolar um, videos, but I'm going to try to make a chicken pot pie tomorrow. Depends on how my depression goes. And we need to try to clean house and everything. Get ready for Thanksgiving. It's only going to be the three of us, but we kind of want the house cleaned up. And um, we're not going to have the family over. They're only recommending 10, if that many due to the COVID and our family's a big family. I have two sisters and a brother and they have um, a lot of kids. Like me, I have six kids. So we're just going to do the three of us this year, probably for Christmas too. So it's going to be um, different than usual because we usually have about 30 or 40 people here of the holidays so it's kind of going to be quiet but sometimes quiet is good and with my bipolar cycling really bad this season usually it doesn't cycle like this for the um, holidays but it is right now so I'm going to try to post this I'm going to um, my son um, set me up with um, a um editing software so I'm going to try to edit this and add it to the where I'm showing the um, sauce simmering I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it but I'm going to try I'm trying to learn so be patient with me and like and subscribe and watch my videos and there'll be a whole bunch of stuff like I said I have different topics daily so from bipolar to cooking to thrifting to hauling, everything I can do. 
So y'all watch and subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Bye.